Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? What's going on guys, my name is the Kiwi Dragon, and as you can tell by today's thumbnail, we'll be looking at the leaked screenshots for Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. But first, before I do that, I really want to thank you all for 600 subscribers. I really appreciate you all tuning into my channel, and I know that there are some regulars who I've gotten to know from my comments section, who show up every video without fail. So thank you all for watching, and I hope you'll stick around for more content in the future. Now I didn't do anything to celebrate the 500 subscriber mark, but I decided that when I hit 600 subscribers and 100 followers on Twitter, that I would, and the fantastic Johnny Cooper 64 suggested to me about doing a Q&A video. So there will be a 600 subscriber Q&A. You can ask me anything related to Crash, to video games in general, or anything at all that you want to know about me. It's all on the table. So feel free to leave me a question in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it in the Q&A video. Now on to today's news about Crash 4. So as I mentioned before, we'll be talking about the leaked screenshots for Crash 4. So if you really don't want to see these screenshots and somehow ignored my previous warnings, I'll give you 5 seconds to leave the video before I start discussing them. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Still here? Alright then, let's go! So, some time ago we got some leaked images from the trailer for Crash 4. Unfortunately I've only just seen them as I'm scripting this video, as I was out yesterday afternoon getting an outfit ready for a friend's wedding, and then I was drinking with said friend until the early hours of this morning. We were actually doing drunk CTR as well, which I highly wish I'd streamed, but never mind, there's always next time. Admittedly, I was initially disappointed to see these screenshots had made their way online. In my last video I'd mentioned that we had waited 12 years for an entirely new Crash game, and that 3 or 4 more days would not harm anyone. But then the floodgates opened and these images were all over my Twitter feed and all on gaming news websites, so it was kind of hard to ignore them all. I thought originally that I wouldn't actually make a new video about these screenshots, but seeing that news sites had already covered it, and they were spreading through the internet like wildfire, I thought maybe it was time just to make a quick video. So in total, from what I've collated from Twitter, we seem to have a total of 15 screenshots. Now I won't be looking at these in any particular order, but I'll try to keep screenshots showing off similar areas together. So the first screenshot we'll start with is the star of the show, the Orange Overlord Crash. I'm presuming this screenshot is from the start of the trailer where Crash would be sort of breaking the fourth wall a little bit by being a little surprised or startled to see everybody watching him. I want to just say again, I love this design. It's a step away from the Insane and CTR design, but in fairness this game is being developed by Toys for Bob this time, and the Insane trilogy did come out 3 or 4 years ago, so Crash is due for a little bit of a refresh in terms of his design. Speaking of designs, the next screenshot I have is Crash joined by Coco and some kind of mask who's looking rather concerned. First of all, I think Coco looks adorable here. I've seen a lot of hate towards these designs, and I've even seen a petition calling for them to be changed. Newsflash, guys! These guys are actually pretty nicely designed. They're not nightmare fuel like the original design for Sonic from the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I have to wonder who this mask is, though. The mask appears on the box art for the game, and it looks kind of reminiscent of Aku Aku. Next up is Cortex, who's looking rather awesome. I love the cartoonish designs we've seen so far, and this Cortex kind of looks menacing yet rather insane. He's pressing one of those big red buttons you see in cartoons, so I wonder what menacing scheme he has cooked up involving this device. Speaking of Cortex, there's a couple of screenshots here of him in a volcano. Now I don't know about you guys, but could it be possible that Cortex will be playable in this game? It certainly looks that way to me, as you can see Wumper Fruit in the distance, which we all know is a collectible in the previous games in the series, so it'll be interesting to find out whether or not Cortex will actually be playable in Crash 4. Next up we have a couple of screenshots showing Crash going down a river in the jungle on a hoverboard, which is very reminiscent of Cortex Strikes Back. There appears to be some huts off to the side, so maybe this is a hint that we could possibly see Papu Papu and his tribesmen again. And in the next screenshot we see him going down the river again dodging some nitro crates which have had a bit of a redesign, showing only the letter N on them. 
The next screenshots I'll talk about seemingly show Coco in a futuristic environment similar to Future Tense from Crash 3 Warped. The city looks very bright and colourful and just pretty overall. There appears to be some vehicles in the first screenshot but it's hard to tell if these vehicles have wheels or if they're flying cars. Meanwhile the other screenshot seems to show some neon signs which show the letters CTR. Is this a hint at something new coming for CTR Nitrofueled? Or is this just a fun reference to the last game? I think it's probably the latter, but we'll just have to wait and see. In the next bunch of screenshots, we can see Crash running through a lush jungle with a broken wooden bridge. While in the next pair of screenshots, he's seemingly wearing some kind of armour, reminiscent of the mask shown in the 200-piece puzzles, which were sent out to various media outlets and YouTubers. Speaking of that mask, it also appears in these screenshots, and I don't know about you guys, but it looks like it's laughing! Which would sort of fuel my theory that this mask will likely be one of, if not, the main villain of this game. Next up we get a clearer look at the Crash 4 logo as well as a release date for the game which will be Friday the 9th of October. So it won't be tremendously long before we get to play this brand new game. And finally we get a quick look at the special offer of the totally tubular skins for Crash and Coco if you purchase the game digitally, seemingly confirming that you can change Crash and Coco's skins. These skins are actually pretty cool and seemingly refer to how the word tubular was used in the early to mid 90s to describe something really cool and originated from surfer lingo. And that brings us to the end of the screenshots. I have to say I am really loving these designs and I am really excited to see what this game will be like when the trailer drops on the 22nd of June. At this stage, I'm unsure whether or not I'll be streaming the event, as it will be at 5am here in New Zealand, so it will depend on if I'm actually awake and how I feel. If I don't do a reaction stream, then I'll at least do a reactions video after the fact, so you can still get something out of it at least. But anyway, what do you guys think of all these leaks? Drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to respond to your thoughts. And don't forget to include a question for my 600 subscriber Q&A. I've been the Kiwi Dragon, and until next time, Stay safe, stay awesome, and look after yourselves up there, eh? Bye-bye for now.